The purpose of this short video is to introduce you to something I call a desktop process unit. And this is what I'm referring to. It's mounted on a piece of wood, actually a piece of shelving. It consists of a loop controller, a motor and generator set coupled together, or actually a couple of hobby DC motors, one being used as a motor and the other being used as a generator. A variable speed motor drive circuit, which will take the 4 to 20 milliamp output of the loop controller and use it to throttle DC power to the electric motor. A power supply and a power strip to plug in the loop controller and the DC power supply. The idea of this is to build a dynamic process that can be controlled by the loop controller using PID control algorithms. This is very compact, uh, much more so than many other processes that students typically learn on in a lab environment, such as water level control, water flow control, temperature control, and that sort of thing. Motor speed control is very fast acting. It's a typically self-regulating process. It's easy to set up. It's very easy to understand. Anyone looking at this can immediately see how the motor spins the generator. And you get very quick feedback to see how the loop controller reacts. Being such a fast acting process, it doesn't take a long time to see uh, the time constant settle out in manual mode or to see the effects of uh, oscillations. For example, if your gain is too high or your integral or derivative constants are too aggressive. So it's a great learning tool. It's something we're introducing into the program here in 2010. And it's something we'll be using in the classroom, actually. Uh, hence the term desktop process, where we can actually place this on a student's desktop and have groups of students use these to learn PID tuning. One more feature we can have on the desktop process is to add a data acquisition unit, such as this mod module right here, DATAC. Uh, to analyze and record and graph the analog data such as the motor speed and the controller's output. Currently the data acquisition unit is not mounted to the desktop process but it certainly could be and there it could be connected to a laptop computer for graphic analysis of the loop tuning.